For side 3, we're going to create, obviously, three circles. Side 3 will be on the front face. To locate the front face, look for it on this view cube and click on Front. So remember, create a sketch, then extrude, remove it. Click on the sketch button. The sketch dialog pops up and we have to select the sketch plane. Select this front face. Okay, now I think this is the perfect time to take a little detour. I want to explain and go over sketch relations. I'm sure you've noticed that when we're creating sketches, almost always these little white boxes with different symbols seem to randomly appear and disappear. They are displaying active and potential sketch relations that you can create, and they're very useful so don't let them intimidate or annoy you. So if I click on point and then place a point randomly on the sketch plane, notice that it's blue, undefined, and I can move it anywhere on this plane. If I hover over it, nothing happens. It has no relations to anything else on the sketch plane. Now, if I drag the point and hover it over one of the face edges, it will actually want to snap to it, the edge will highlight, and a white sketch relation icon will appear. This is the very common coincident sketch relation. It means that if I release the point over the highlighted edge, a coincident relation will be created between the point and the edge. So, I'm going to do that now. Okay, so now, if I just hover the mouse over the point, the white coincident icon has turned blue. It's showing me that now this point has an active sketch relation, a coincident relation with something. Now I can investigate further and hover over the blue icon. Then both the point and the edge will highlight, indicating that there is a coincident relation between the point and the edge. And now, if I try to click and drag the point, I can only drag it along the edge because it's coincident to the edge. Now, if I needed to cancel out of this relation, of course I could delete the point and then redraw it. But the smarter way to do it is hover over or click on the point, then select the blue sketch relation icon and press the delete key on your keyboard. With the relation deleted, you can now drag the point and move it anywhere on the sketch plane again. Okay, so what other sketch relations are there? Well, they're actually all visible up here on the toolbar. We just learned about coincident. To finish up modeling all sides of our dice modeling exercise, by the time we're done, we'll have used midpoint, symmetric, equal, horizontal, and vertical. I'll quickly explain each because it's good to be familiar with the sketch relation icons and which one means what. But I will try to keep to layman's definitions. So, coincident is when something occupies the same space as something else, or they overlap. Some examples include this point is coincident with this line. The end of this line segment is coincident with this line. The center of this circle coincides with this line. Midpoint is when something is at the midpoint or at the center of, usually, a line. This point is at the midpoint of this line. This rectangle is at the midpoint of this line. This circle is at the midpoint of this center line. Symmetric is when two things are the same distance or equidistant from a center line. These two points are symmetric about this center line. These two lines are symmetric about this center line. And these two circles are symmetric about this line. Equal is when two or more sizes are the same. This can apply to lengths and generally all dimensions. 
these two line segments are equal in length. All three sides of this triangle are equal in length. These three circles are equal in size. Horizontal is when two things are in line or on the same level horizontally. Out of these three points, these two points are horizontal to each other. The centers of these two circles are horizontal to each other. This line is oriented horizontally. This point is horizontal to this line. Vertical, similarly, is when two or more things are in line vertically. Out of these three points, these two points are vertical to each other. The centers of these two circles are vertical to each other. This line is oriented vertically. This point is vertical to this line. Now, there are a few more relations we haven't covered, uh, such as parallel, perpendicular, concentric, and fixed. Uh, but these will be adequate for now. We'll include them on a separate reference sheet that you can access and download. So creating sketch relations really speeds up the sketching process. Instead of having to add a dimension to each individual line, separation, distance, or circle, we use sketch relations as much as possible.